A study from YouGov has revealed the under 25s have suffered more with mental health issues during the pandemic than any other age group, with worries around health, maintaining income and isolation as driving factors. Now, with the UK facing a second wave, there's concerns of a deeper mental health crisis at hand. I think one of the big difficulties in relation to trying to get your head around what's happening is the fact there have been so many changes. Um, and the fact that people have been asked to do one thing and then asked to do another, some of those things are literally U-turns in, in, in many respects. Um, going to work and then being told, don't go to work unless you really have to. Those sorts of things are difficult for people. Um, to some extent, it's easier to stick with one thing, no matter how hard it is, than it is to go in and out of, of of something being tricky and then to something easier, then back to something difficult. I think if people can reflect on the fact that they've already been through a fairly tough lockdown, they can probably then say, OK, I've got the resources, I've got the skills, I can make some plans. I know what it was like before. It might get like that again. It might not be as, as difficult this time around, but at least we know that many people do have the resources and the skills to be able to get through it and that kind of resilience, we know that most of us have got that. And for the people who do struggle with it, at least knowing how they felt before might be able, might allow them to be able to think about how they will cope, cope with it this time. So sometimes for some people, it's not saying I did it once and I can do it again. For others, it might be I struggled, but I from that struggle. And now I know where to seek help if it's difficult for me. So I think, I think, we may be better off than the first time around, but it isn't going to be easy. 